A couple of other units we can use if we're talking about very small concentrations are parts per million or parts per billion. So we can think about parts per million and parts per billion similarly to how we think about percentage. Remember that percentage is parts per 100. If I'm looking at parts per million and billion, I'm not doing anything different, just the number on the bottom gets bigger. So if we're looking at something that's in parts per million, what that really means is they have a like one gram of our solute per million milliliters of solution. And another way you can write this, anytime you see ppm, you can actually write it as one milligram per liter. And in molarity, we always it means moles per liter and when we see the big M we write go ahead and expand that unit we can do the same thing with parts per million so 1 ppm 1 milligram per liter if it were 5 ppm then we could write it as 5 milligrams per liter so if we want to think about how small this actually is because thinking about something as part per million is really kind of tough to grasp but if I look at one penny out of a million pennies so ten thousand dollars is a million pennies and I take one of those that's one part per million so a really small amount there likewise with parts per billion which is even for smaller concentrations and it's a gram of solute per billion milliliters of solution and for one part per billion we can talk about it as one microgram per liter now there are scenarios where it's not um, in terms of grams and liters of the solution but those are the only cases that we're going to come across we'll always talk about it in terms of mass over volume So let's look at an example of how we would use parts per million in a calculation. And so a solution has a concentration of 215 parts per million. So I'm going to write that down. What mass of lead is in 750 milliliters? So the first thing I'm actually going to do is rewrite my parts per million as 215 milligrams per liter. So these two units the parts per million and the milligrams per liter mean exactly the same thing. It's just a different way of writing the same thing. So now it's much easier to see that I'm going to have to start with my 750 because it's the only number I have that has one unit associated with it. So we have 750 milliliters. I see that I have liters here in my concentration. So I'm going to convert my milliliters to liters by dividing by a thousand. Now my milliliters will cancel out. I'm left with liters. Now I can use my concentration, my 215 milligrams per liter. Liters cancels with liters. And I'm left with milligrams of lead for my answer. Now it doesn't ask for any particular unit, so we're just going to leave it in milligrams because that is in fact a mass. If we wanted to, we could have gone one further step and converted from milligrams to grams. So I have my 750 times 215 divided by 1000 and I get 161 milligrams of lead.